Hi everybody. Today I wanted to have a look at some of the products that I've got in my craft room to make ephemera really special. So I've come up with 13 different products that I've got and I would love it if you would comment uh, on other products that you might have. So let's have a look at the 13 and I've just done a quick sample of each. So the first one is with this product. It's a Tim Holtz product and it's called Distress Collage Medium and you can get it in this colour and this is just a, a crazing one so there's the two different ones one's a like a tea stained one and the other one's just a clear and so hopefully the camera will pick this up the top image doesn't have the product on it and the bottom image does you can just see it just gives it a bit of a shine so that's the first product the next one is using a Versamark pen and then clear embossing powder of any sort this is a clear gloss from Wow and this is the finish you can just see I've done the two clocks and this line across the top hopefully that's picking that up and that's with one coat and then the difference if you do two coats you can see just the two clocks here it's a lot smoother after the two coats when you compare it with that one it's it's got uh, like a gritty look feels smooth but it's it's uh, not as smooth looking as that second version. Then using that same product, so the Versamark pen, and this time with the gold embossing powder. So this is metallic gold rich, super fine. I've just gone around the edges of this and put the gold on it to give it that nice edge. So that's the gold embossing powder. This one I use a lot, it's Glossy Accents and that gives you this, it's like an enamel finish, you can just see that circle there, it gives you a really nice enamel sort of look. So that's Glossy Accents. This is another one I use all the time, just any old glue stick and this gold hot foil gold tape and then you can see here you can just put the gold on and you get this lovely look. If you wanted to do it around the edge, just thought I'd show you quickly. So if we wanted to put that on the edge, just put a little bit of glue on it and then press the gold foil on and peel it off. And the beauty of that is that you don't have to wait you don't have to wait for anything to dry and once the glue stick dries or any sticky surface dries that that will stay there so that's a nice way to add a bit of shine this is another one of my favorites it's called Inca gold and it's just like a gold paste and any any paste that you've got uh, would be similar so that's that product and then that just gives you that lovely shiny gold edge so you basically just wipe your finger in there and go around the edge and that gives you a lovely shine on the edge so that's Inca gold this is another one so a gold paint pen this particular one is a Sakura one and these are the ones you just shake them up and they've got the paint that comes out on the nib and that gives you that nice finish on the edge as well so that's a gold paint pen now liquid pearls so this particular one is in rose gold and that gives you that nice gold edge it's a little bit dimensional that gives you that lovely gold edge so that's the rose gold color 
and then this is the same product so liquid pearls in a brass so that's the brass color and in comparison that's the rose gold so very similar but just slightly different colors Then something a lot of people have in their home, this is just a, a clear nail polish. And that can also give you, I've just done the clock in the middle, that can give you a nice shine. That's got two coats of the clear nail polish on it. This is another product that everyone has, this is well loved. So this is just Art Glitter Glue, which dries clear. And if you see there, the clock, just the clock here, has got the Art Glitter Glue on it. And that just gives it a nice shine as well. It does take a little while to dry, depending on how thick you put it on. And in a similar fashion, just using any old PVA glue, this particular one is just a tacky glue. And that also gives you, you can just see this circle here, that also gives you a nice shine as well if it's a one that says that it dries clear. This is another product, Stickles, and that gives you a really sparkly, so I've just done it around the edge of this, gives you a really sparkly look. Then I've got this watercolour paint, and it's called Mica Colour, and all I do is I just... There's a whole lot of different colours in here and I've just used one of the golds and all I did was just spray a little bit of water in it and then give that a bit of a smoosh around and then use my paintbrush to dip it in and just go around the outside basically just scraping the brush and that gives you that lovely look as well. So that's a really nice way to add colour and there's all different colours in that set. Then there's this product. So this is a glass beads in gel. You can either use it like that and it's like a, a paste with the glass beads mixed in it or you can buy the glass beads separately like this and add them to a regular gel gloss to make your own, to put as many beads as you like in it. You can also add colour to that. This hasn't quite dried yet, but you can see that it's partly dry and it gives it nice dimension. I'll show you a journal cover that's got it on it. So here it is on this, you can hear how scratchy it is and it's it dries with a nice shine and that just says the words the ocean under it the ocean is calling so that's the glass beads gel and the last one i've got is this product so this is a zig pen and it's called wink of stella and this is just a really subtle look so i've just done this circle in the middle and I'll see if I can get that to pick it up. It's just got a little hint of glitter there. And then on black paper, maybe it'll pick that up better. It just says the word wink. And it's just a really subtle way to add that little bit of shine. So that's, that's all of the different ways. And you can see that you can really give your ephemera a really nice finish using all sorts of different products. Um, and if you've got any ideas for other products that you use, I would love it if you could share those with others so that we could get more ideas. Because often people end up buying a whole lot of product when Really, you can use what you've got and have all sorts of lovely special effects. Thanks for watching and um, I look forward to seeing 
comments about what you've used to add a little bit of a special touch to your to your ephemera. Have a great day everyone.